Barb will be here before we know it, and I still have to set the stage and change. <laughs> Again, all the world's a stage, she's got to set the stage. I think that'd be a good inference question tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to save that one. You guys might see that tomorrow. I'm not sure. I closed the scrapbook. Thanks for this. I love it. I said I meant it too. I'll study it tonight. Right now, I need to go see Mr. Jesse's. If you can handle lunch. She glanced up at the 7 o'clock. I suppose I can. We're slow. What? I'm sorry. Why are My you bad. Cutting into Please me? go back. She glanced up at the 7 o'clock. The clock we struggle with. It's that just the clock, clock is driving us crazy. Go ahead. I suppose I can. We're so slow. If I need some help, I can ask someone. But you are not to go out alone, Mo. I mean it. Be patient. She said. Someone will drop in for a glass of tea and offer you a ride. She glanced outside as I picked up a few order pads to hold my clues. Where on earth is our mid-morning crowd? Beats me, I said. It took me about 15 minutes to find out. As I unloaded my bike from the back of Redneck Red's truck. Redneck Red. <laughs> okay, what does that tell you then? She's loading her, unloading her bike from Redneck Red's truck. So what do you infer must have happened? You have to infer something just happened. She was unloading her bike from his truck. Oh. Oh, what? Raise your hand if there was an O. Well, yeah, there was an O. I heard an O, and then She's we're just right going to sit here. I think some people just yell out O's. Uh -huh. just yell. Not every five minutes. I'm about to yell, oh! I'm going to yell one of those out. See if that gets me anything. <laughs> it's always the same people, but I'm going to choose that kid in the red next to the kid, and then not you, him. J. Ron. J. Ron. <laughs> Okay, but what but can we infer has happened in the past? She got her bike out of a truck. If I recall correctly, Miss Lana said... Wait around. Someone, someone will drop in for a glass of tea and offer you a ride. Then it said... It took me about 15 minutes to find out as I unloaded my bike from the back of Redneck Red's truck. Oh. Did it got Yes? No one ever came? No one ever came. How would she get her bike out of someone's truck then? Why was her truck and a bike in a truck? Did someone come take the bike? Redneck Red. <laughs> Redneck Red. <laughs> I bet he drives a red truck. Marlon? Well, she took her bike. Redneck Red took her where she wanted to go, and she took her bike out of the truck. Now, I saw half a town milling about the top of Mr. Go Jesse's ahead, tree line drive. I saw about half the town milling about the top of Mr. Okay. Jesse's tree line drive. <laughs> it is a vocabulary okay word. I want you to listen, though. I saw about half the town milling about the top of Mr. Jesse's tree line drive. So where's half the town? Where's the lunch crowd? <laughs> Mr. Jesse's house. Where's Mr. Jesse? Okay. So, go ahead. Hey, Skeeter. Is my competition here yet? Who can we infer she's talking about? Star. 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 I asked, uh, looking toward Mr. Jesse's house. Skeeter nodded. Star and two plainclothes cops. A young guy and a dark-haired woman of undetermined age. Skeeter has an eye, a good eye for detail. They've been in there about an hour, to the best of my knowledge. I surveyed the crowd. The cafe's customers stood in dwindling patches of shade. Vocab. 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 Asking questions, making up answers, and passing them along as fact. <laughs> what does that mean? They're asking questions. They're making, making up answers. answers and passing them along as fact. What does that mean? What can you, what, what are they doing? What are these people doing? They're asking questions, making up answers, and passing them along as fact. Oh. They're just making things up. We're making things up, and what? I don't know if it's so the police can believe it. Do the are the police talking to them? What are they doing? I heard it over here. Was that was that? Yeah, go ahead. They're making up rumors. Why do you think they're making up rumors? 
Why do you think they'd make up yes? Well, that's what a rumor is. It was thought to be real, but why do you think they're making up rumors? Yes, ma'am. So they can make the scene have more drama. The scene will have more drama in it. You know, who? What? What are they there for? To investigate how Mr. Jesse died. And the whole town is there. I bet Star loves them. Watching as the detective is trying to figure all this stuff out. And the whole town is just up there watching. What does that now say about the town? I say it tells us about the setting. And it does. It totally tells us about the setting. What does that tell us about our setting? What does that tell us about our setting? You've been real quiet today. No. Why does it always look right at someone? Hi. Burrowing in someone, they're like, who, me? My Caden? Yeah. <laughs> well, we call them out. Okay. What does that say about our setting? That they're all just milling around trying to, they're starting rumors, they're trying to solve it. That they're kind of being nosy in a way. Hmm. Goes back to you, remember when Mr. Jesse first, or when they found out that the guy died in the next town? In Winston Salem. Uh -huh. And Star came, and everyone kept asking, what was the question everyone asked him when he came in? He said, I'm on my way to investigate a murder. And everyone asked him what, Dakota? Uh, who killed him? Who killed him? It almost shows their, what, their they ignorance, know. their, um, they, they just, they automatically think, well, if someone's dead, you should know who did it. They don't get it. They're, they're in a funny town. What does that say about the town that over half the town could just be standing there in the middle of the day? And not working and not doing anything. I let just go on to Mr. Jesse's. But yet, every day they all go to the, like, the, they must not have kitchens in their houses. That's all I'm saying, because they go to the diner for What's breakfast, What's their socialization? Lunch, it is. It is socialization. It's like my dad. Now that my dad's retired, he goes to McDonald's every morning for coffee. To hang out with the coffee crew. <laughs>